yeah one 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 part of the density gradient centrifugations was a rate journal centrifugations and the next part is actually isopicnic centrifugations you have seen that there are two different types of density gradient centrifugations one is the uh, rate journal centrifugations another is isopicnic centrifugations so this both depends upon the gradient formations of the density gradient of some another solutions and upon which your solutions your sample is going to be moved okay going to be moved throughout the density gradient that's why it's called density gradient centrifugations so isopicnic centrifugations as you can see here the picture you have a mixture you have a mixture of different particles uh, uh, lower density particles higher density particles and you can do isopicnic centrifugations which solely depends upon the density and one difference so uh, regional centrifugations was also the same that also depends upon the density but one basic difference of isopicnic centrifugations and the regional centrifugation is that in isopicnic centrifugation what happens the particles are going to be separated in a zone where the density of the particles it will be exactly equal to the density of the surrounding it means particles are moving throughout the density gradient particle will come 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 he will see and he will come 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 he will see here okay here my density is matching with the density of the surrounding solution then he will stack there again another particle will come overcome that one come 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 again he will see here okay this density is going to be matched with my density so here he will stack like this he will form the rate uh, he will form the zone of different uh, particles containing different density but in rate journal centrifugation what happened in rate journal centrifugations uh, particles not uh, particles are not accumulating like this the equaling density it's not like that but this is happening in isopicnic centrifugation and that is called the equilibrium positions okay so particle size particle size doesn't affect the centrifugation so so particle size doesn't affect centrifugation will be going on until and unless the density will be same for the particles to be separated with the surrounding solutions the so particle of the surrounding of the of the sample to be separated are going like this and you will see okay here i can form a equilibrium in perspective of density with the gradient solutions and he will stack there that's why it also called equilibrium it also called equilibrium positions or also called equilibrium separations okay so this uh, gradient is actually called isopicnic gradient okay and you will see after the separations of isopicnic separation you will end up also the zone also the zone as as you have seen in the rate journal centrifugations but in this case the zone of the particle zone contains the particles which have the same density which have the same density with the density of the surrounding solutions but there it was not there in all the case you have different zones containing different particles but in different zones that that criteria was not satisfied the particle density was always greater than the density of the gradient media of the sucrose solutions that rate journal centrifugation but here density of the particle accumulated in a zone is exactly equal to the density of the gradient of the background gradient okay so particles here actually separated by their buoyancy according to their buoyancy Okay. now as you can understand the density of the bioparticles density of the organelles actually depends upon the osmotic pressure osmotic pressure of 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 the solutions okay so that's why what gradient you are using then osmotic pressure comes from where osmotic pressure comes from your gradient so what type of gradient you are using that here matters very much okay size of the particle doesn't affect the centrifugations one thing i repeat size of the particle doesn't affect isopicnic centrifugations only the size of the particles can affect the rate at which they are separating but not it will make uh, not it will affect the efficiency of separations it can affect the rate at which it is separating but not at all it will affect the efficiency of separations okay so it wholly relies on density and density of the particles will be exactly equal to the density of the medium where they are accumulating so separation here varies significantly with the medium what you are using because of that osmotic pressure case now uh, there are two types of gradient people use and that is uh, another topic to discuss in another video what type of gradient people use and one uh, there are two types of gradient one is the 
continuous gradient one is the discontinuous gradient so continuous gradient you can see here what is forming in this case uh, you will end up a different different zone of containing different density particles and then different density this is the different this is the higher density lesser density and this is the lightest density but uh, if you use uh, a discontinuous you will end up the separations of different uh, zones or different particles having different density at the interface layer at the interface layer of interface between two layers interface between two layers of the discontinuous gradient okay that's will be the only difference okay so that's the isopicnic centrifugations isopicnic centrifugations one thing is very important that as different from the regional centrifugation is that uh, that wholly depends upon the density and that actually are uh, done by density of the particles exactly equal where it is accumulating with the density of the gradient okay so to summarize the whole process in uh, in a single slide that we have ca completed the differential centrifugations then red zonal centrifugation and then isopicnic centrifugation so differential centrifugation is a one part one division of the centrifugation one classifications another classification is the density gradient centrifugations in the density gradient centrifugation you have two types one is the red zonals and the isopicnic so red zonal and isopicnic both forms the principle follows the principle that sample will be gone through sample will be gone through a density gradient that density gradient may be a secret solutions that for red zonal centrifugations and that is for another type of solution let's say cesium chloride solution for isopicnic centrifugations so to summarize the whole picture the take home message you can look at very carefully to take a take home message from this slide that for differential centrifugations it gradually increasing the centrifugation speed to separate the particles with different sedimentation speed as you have seen if you remember from the previous slide in differential centrifugations for the first one for nuclear separation we use 600 600 g and for the plasma and for the plasma membrane separation we used 150000 g and in the middle the, the mitochondria lysosomal complex that separation we used 100000 g and also time increased time has increased that is normal thing so increasing the speed will results the separations of the lighter particles with time in the differential centrifugation first the dense particle will be separated out then the less dense then the lightest particles okay and that will be depends upon the increasing the speed of the so, uh, centrifugations so gradually increasing the centrifugation speed to separate the particles uh, with the different sedimentation speed and sedimentation coefficient is the main factor which controls that which particles will be separated out in which speed and that depends upon the density as well as the molecular weight or size you can think okay now next thing is the differential after centrifuge differential centrifugation next thing is the density gradient centrifugation what is density gradient you have a density gradient upon which your your solution is going to be moved that two type of centrifugation rate journal centrifugations and one is the isopicnic now to describe the rate journal to summarize rate journal it's nothing it use the simple sugar solutions as a shallow gradient simple sugar solutions okay so low density sugar solution is used in the rate journal centrifugations and density of the gradient is actually lower than the density of the sample and that should be a important criteria to fulfill the red journal to get a uh, important separations to get a precious separations by the red journal centrifugations and bands are formed during the sedimentation process you have a red you have a zones red journal so name suggest you have a zones of different particles having different density and this you know the relies on wholly density of the sample red journal and the isopicnic centrifugations okay here different zone will be formed one, uh, the low density zone uh, middle density zone and the high density zone okay now you then you can separate the different density particles in different centrifuge tube but here the density of the gradient is actually lower than the density of the samples 
and sample is going to be accumulated in different bands that's fine and it has overcome the cross contamination problem of the differential centrifugations okay now next was the isopicnic centrifugations and this too was a part of the density gradient centrifugations density gradient centrifugations so here the particles move this is very important here the particles move until their density is exactly same with the surrounding gradient media so particles are separated also in isopicnic as like the red journal based upon the density but particles will separate completely to the positions where it see the exact same density with the gradient media okay so particles settle completely to the positions of the gradient media with the same density of the sample so this is a cheap gradient here people use csl chloride solutions this is a cheap gradient and the red journal centrifugation you use the shallow gradient so from this slide you can make a, a similarity and dissimilarity of different centrifugation technique red journal and isopicnic is quite similar is upon the density gradient but here the shallow gradient sugar solution here is the steep gradient reforming here doesn't fill the criteria that uh, the density have to be equal here the forms a criteria the density of the gradients is lower than the density of the sample of the uh, sample and bands are formed during the sedimentation process here the particles are separated based on their density and in isopicnic centrifugations and regional both the density are the main parameter to separate the particles but here the particles settle at exactly the same density where where you see the same density of the gradient media and one thing i forgot to mention in isopicnic centrifugation you can't get any sedimentation it doesn't matter how much time you are separating how much time you are centrifugating but you will not get any sedimentation it will stack there as a zone of the particles having different density okay you will not get any sedimentation but in red journal centrifugations you will get the sedimentation as that said the bands are formed during the sedimentation process that's all about the different centrifugation technique thank you for all guys and that's all for the centrifugation technique hope you understood the video and understood the concept thank you for watching bye bye if you like the video please share and subscribe yeah bye bye